Greetings, everyone. It's, uh, it's me. <laughs> Back with another vlog. Um, so yeah, I've got the, uh, the interpreter kind of pretty much working. Um, so as you can see, I did some, some test things over here, but, uh, uh over, yeah. Okay. Anyway, you see it in front of you. Um, it's kind of busy though, so let's go ahead and clean that up with the term CLS. There we go. Um, yeah. Now, if we want to get that list of words again, we can use the the words word. Nice. Um, but yeah. Right now, uh, I don't have a lot of words, as you can probably see here. Um. But if we like did key to get key input and then uh, did the dot, which will put it on the screen. And uh, I must have. Yeah, I typed a different one than I thought I was going to type. Hold on. And then we type a and we get four one, which is the hex code for a. If instead we use emit, which actually prints the character and we'll hit R this time. Boom, it prints R. So, I mean, you know, that's pretty good. And if instead we wanted to, like... Oh, whoops. I did that wrong. Oh, no, I didn't. I did it right. <laughs> so, yeah, if we can, uh, you know, we can hold it for later. Um. So, yeah, that's pretty good stuff. Uh, I've got addition. So, like, if we did four, uh, five plus... This is reverse Polish notation, so this will add four and five... Uh, and then to view the result, we use the dot. There you go. And I mean, you can do that all in one line as well, if you wanted to. Um, yeah. Or if we wanted like four, five plus uh, three minus. See the result of that? Six. Yep, that's correct. Pretty cool stuff. Um, we could also do, you could do it differently. You could do that as a three. Oh, no, you can't quite do it that way. But negative numbers work too. So if we did like a negative one, uh, and then just display that, the display is currently hexadecimal. I need to get division working so that uh, we can make that decimal. But uh, it's negative one, all F. Uh, negative two, obviously, same kind of thing. And if you did like a 5, negative 2 plus, uh, that'll be at the top of the screen. Can we even see that? Oh, I didn't dot it, so no. Oh, we get 3. Um, which is just pretty great. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of a glitch in the clear clear screen, but that's that's okay. Um, Yeah, but right now... You know, it's not going to be much more than a glorified calculator because I don't have any of the compiler words. But it's it's getting very, very close to where I can get some compiler words in here. and We can do some crazy things. Um, oh, I could have made it. I could have added the at and the right, and we could have had variables, and I could have showed that off. But whatever. Um, next time, right? Uh, but yeah, this this is... Coming along great so far. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, um, how much I'll be able to work on this this next week or even the week after, but I'll, I'll put in as much work as possible. And once I get to another stop point, I'll have another one of these vlogs. But yeah, it, uh, it's pretty good for now. Oh, it left some garbage there. Get rid of that garbage. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, this screen and I don't get along so well sometimes, but that's fine. Oh, and I do have multiply, so that should multiply three and three. Um, you get nine. Or if you want to do like a five and. I don't know, uh, 10, multiply that out, uh, see the result, and we get it in hex, hex 32, which is 50, so that's correct, so yeah, 
Um, and obviously, uh, the reason that I have multiplication, not division, multiplication was actually needed so that I can uh, type in decimal, um, and then division is going to be needed so that I can uh, write out decimal more easily. So yeah, um, that'll be it for this. Until next time.